Uh, Self-application of instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization for the patella femoral retinaculum and surrounding tissues. Using some type of lubricant, in this case we're using a massage cream that won't rub directly into the skin, coconut oil, Vaseline, uh, some, you, you can get uh, those lotions with active ingredients uh, such as that may have a uh, an anesthetic uh, uh, component and or like vitamin A or vitamin E can help with the cosmetic of the, the scar uh, healing. Notice how we're keeping like a 45 degree angle to the skin with the tool versus your 90. The significance of this is it disperses the amount of pressure that is applied with the uh, with the tool against the skin so that we're not causing any bruising or adverse uh, reactions okay and you're going to go circumferentially all the way around the patella as the retinaculum also follows that angle we know that we know that this crescent shaped tissue down here which include not only the retinaculum but also the anterior interval the infrapatella fat pad as well as the patella tendon are key markers for limiting patella mobility thus this would be the tissue that we would want to potentially spend a little bit more time on and it's going to be sensitive right over the incision doing this at different degrees of knee flexion will also bias and implicate different uh, tissue Okay, the, the significance of that is that it's you know, we know that the myofascial uh, system is multi-layered, and that it's the gliding of the superficial versus the deep, etc., that allows for the the optimal excursion. You're not going to notice uh, an acute significant change in this from one day to the next, but you're going to put in. You're just going to put your pennies in your bank with the trust that you're going to get your return on investment with allowing the scar tissue to have greater pliability and allowing the patella to move more readily as compared to the other side. Your testing of your, other, uh, of your patella would look like this, is where you would start to get, okay, does it, how far does it move medially? How far does it move laterally? If I was to bisect the patella, we would want it to move about half its width laterally half its width medially. We should get a little bit more medial than lateral. Additionally, what we should see is that this tissue down here, your infrapatella fat pad, as well as the patella tendon, can wiggle and can move and it's pliable. Versus when we come to the affected side, we can notice that there's not as much. I can't really wiggle this tissue. Granted, the knee's in flexion, so things are a little bit tense right now. But that is your, your qualitative self-assessment that will be done over time that will be your return on investment of uh, incorporating this as well as promoting normal patellofemoral mechanics.